He got the nickname Ricardo, the wayward steer, who suddenly became a star last week after escaping a slaughterhouse. Yes, Ricardo, you may recall, ran along New Jersey transit tracks until he was finally cornered. Now he's enjoying life in an animal sanctuary and becoming a bit of a celebrity. Yes, having a new stuffed toy named after you can do that if you're a steer. Here's Lauren Glasper. So here's Ricardo outside in his little isolation area now. That's Ricardo the steer, the bovine that bought himself a whole new life when he escaped from the slaughterhouse. He was spotted wandering the tracks, delaying New Jersey transit trains last Thursday. When one gets loose, everybody is rooting for them and they want them to do well. And he's doing well now at Skyland's Animal Sanctuary and Rescue and Wantage. And once Ricardo clears all of his medical tests, he'll be able to roam the 240 acres shared by 450 animals. He's a Texas Longhorn, so maybe he's like a Southern gentleman. You know, he's pretty chill, honestly. Meanwhile, New Jersey Transit is milking the steer star turn by selling Ricardo's stuffed animals for 20 bucks. I was thinking about us maybe making a couple t-shirts and selling some t-shirts with his name on them and maybe some kind of slogan, uh, slogan you know? But uh, all of a sudden, boom, there's a stuffed animal. A portion of sales will go to the animal sanctuary, which runs entirely on donations. We go through a tractor trailer of hay in three days here in the cold weather. And so, what does that run? I, I have no idea how much hay is going for these days. So, you know, $1,000 a day. Wow. That's just You'd have hay. to sell a lot of stuffed animals. You would have to sell a lot of stuffed animals, yeah. But more importantly, Mike Sturer hopes that Ricardo gives people pause when it comes to what they eat. Hopefully, people stop seeing them as commodities, you know, and that, that's the goal. The Texas Longhorn that many have grown to love.